Okay, friends. So in this session, uh, we are going to learn Kramer's rule for solving a pair of linear equations. Now we have learned the method of substitution, elimination, and cross multiplication. So this is a new method, uh, which is very handy in solving a system of linear equations, uh, especially when the number of variables is too large. Okay, so what uh, we will start with a simple pair of linear equations in two variables and understand the process, and then we can always take it to you know higher number of variables uh, system of linear equations. So let us see how do we solve, and uh, it is. Um, assume that you know what determinants are and if you have not gone through the previous session on determinants I would uh, recommend that you please have a basic understanding of determinants uh, in the previous uh, video session and once you are thorough with determinants and how to find the value of determinants then it becomes easier to understand this rule so now uh, we have a pair of linear equations here uh, these this is these are the example uh, equations are there so before we take up the examples, let us first uh, uh, do a generalized study. So let us first write a two, uh, two linear equations in two variables like this. So let us say we have a1x plus b1y is equal to c1 and we have a2x, a2x and uh, b2y and this is equal to c2 now if you notice the difference between this pair of linear equation and this is that I have written the constant terms on the right hand side okay so hence please be careful while solving Kramer's rule you have to have the equations in this format where the variables are on the LHS variable side variables should be should be in LHS and constant term constant terms should be in rhs it's not that you know you can't really solve uh, if the very uh, the constant terms are on the left hand side but then the particular method which you are adopting in this session would require that variables should be on the left hand side and the constant terms should be on the right hand side now let us define a few determinants now I'm going to define first determinant d and this will be nothing but the determinant of coefficients of x and y okay so what are the coefficients of x and y a1 a2 and b1 b2 isn't it so the value of this determinant d will be nothing but we know how to find the value of a determinant so you have to multiply first a1 b2 and then subtract a2 b1 from that right this is the value of determinant d now I am defining another very uh, determinant dx okay which is nothing but you have to consider the previous determinant d and replace the coefficients of x so please note this subscript x so you replace the coefficients of x so what are the coefficients of x these are the coefficients of x isn't it so I have to replace a1 a2 by what the constant term so hence it will be c1 c2 and let the other column be as it is okay so this is dx so hence if you see the value of dx is c1 b2 minus c2 b1 this is the value of dx so here determinant value dx is c1 b2 minus c2 b1 okay similarly i have to define another determinant dy and in this case i will take the determinant d and replace the coefficients of x uh, y sorry y from it and replace it by the constant term so if you see this is nothing but a1 a2 and then it will be c1 c2 right and you know that determinant this determinant value dy will be nothing but a1 c2 minus a2 c1 okay these are the so these are the three determinants right now how do I find x so x is nothing but determinant a sorry determinant dx divided by the value of determinant of d okay and y is defined as determinant of dy 
determinant value dy divided by determinant value d. Clearly, if you see these x and y are real, x and y are real only when only when the denominators must not be zero. So determinant value of d must not be equal to zero. That means what? If I say determinant d, it's nothing but a1 b2 minus a2 b1 must not be equal to zero. And if I rearrange, it is a1 by a2 should not be equal to b1 by b2, which probably you would have understood or you have uh, come across this particular condition in while studying the consistency of linear equations, right? So this is what uh, that Kramer's rule is. So hence, what did we learn? We defined three determinants. One is the coefficient determinant. Another is dx. Another was dy. And hence, x is nothing but determinant value of dx upon determinant value of d. And y is determinant value of dy divided by determinant value of d. So directly, you can find out. Let us now take the two examples which are given above. So here, if you see, I have to rearrange these equations, the, these given equations into this form. What form? So I have to write 2x plus 3y plus minus 5 equals to 0 can be written as equal to equal to 5. And the, another equation is 3x minus 2y equals negative 2. Let us now try to solve these equations using determinant method or Kramer's rule. So let us rewrite the equations. So equations were 2x plus 3y equals 5 and 3x minus 2y equals negative 2. Let us define the three determinants. d is equal to coefficient determinant. So it is 2, 3, 3, minus 2. Okay. So hence value of d is value of d determinant d is equal to 2 into minus 2 minus 3 into 3. Right. How? because this is how you have to multiply and subtract. So finally, you will get minus 4 minus 9, which is negative 13, right, which is not equal to 0. So that means we'll get a pair of, uh, sorry, uh, well, a solution to this pair of linear equations. Now let us find out dx. dx is replace the coefficient of x, that is 2 and 3 here, by the constant term. So 5 and minus 2 and 3 and minus 2 like this. So now this implies determinant value of dx will be equal to 5 into minus 2 minus minus 2 into 3, which will be nothing but minus 10 plus 6, which is equal to negative 4. And what will be dy? dy is replace the coefficient of b with the constant terms. So 2 and 3 will be as it is and 3 and minus 2 will be replaced by 5 and minus 2. And now we know determinant value of dy is nothing but 2 into minus 2 minus 3 into 5, which is minus 4 minus 15, which is minus 19. So what is x? x is determinant value of d x divided by determinant value of d which is equal to uh, minus 4 upon negative 13 so it is 4 upon 13 and what is the value of y y is determinant value of dy divided by determinant value of d which is minus 19 upon minus 13 which is 19 upon 13. So this is the solution. So x equals 4 by 13 and y equals 19 by 13. So if you deploy these two values back into the system of linear equations, they they will be, you know, uh, valid. So let us try once. So let us take this equation and say, see whether we have solved it correctly. So 2 into x, x is 4 upon 13 and plus 3 into y, which is 19 by 13. And if you sum them up, you'll get 13 and this is 8. Um, uh, yeah, 8 plus 57, which is 65 by 13, which is 5. That means our solution 
x equals to 4 by 13 and y equals to 19 by 13 is correct. Okay, so that means this Kramer, the way we found out that is when we deployed Kramer's rule to solve these equations, we got the correct solution. So this is for, this is a solution of linear equation in two variables using Kramer's rule. In the next session, we would take up solution of linear equations in three variables using Kramer rule, Kramer's rule. Thank you.